Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to look about linked blocking queue, which is the one of the implementation of blocking queue. So, a linked blocking queue, which is an implementation of blocking queue interface is added in Java 5. Linked blocking queue internally uses linked nodes. So, if you go to the source code and here if you press control 4, so here you can see a class which called node uh, so, and basically which holds an item right so every item basically uh, is managed by the internal class is called node right so it is optionally uh, bounded and that's where uh, it differ from another implementation of blocking queue like array blocking queue which is the bounded which we have seen in the previous example another difference between two array blocking queue and uh, linked blocking queue is how elements are stored internally array blocking queue uses array internally right to store elements whereas linked blocking queue uses linked nodes which just we have seen since it is optionally uh, bounded so it has uh, both type of constructors one constructor where initial capacity can be passed thus making it uh, bounded or uh, another constructor you have uh, without any capacity thus uh, making it unbounded where uh, in that case no initial capacity is defined capacity of a linked blocking queue is integer dot max value now if you go to the uh, linked blocking queue class and if you look into the constructor right so here you have a constructor like a, a constructor which doesn't take any parameter right so this basically creates a, a linked blocking queue which is with the, with the capacity of integer dot max value right and another constructor you have a, which takes a, one parameter right so basically this constructor creates a linked block blocking queue with the given uh, fixed capacity right now uh, to understand how basically linked blocking queue works internally we have taken previous example only uh, there we had seen how we can work with the array blocking queue same example uh, i have converted into linked blocking queue and there we are going to look how we can implement a producer consumer problem using linked blocking queue right so here if you look into the buffer class earlier we were using a array blocking queue right and there uh, when you use array blocking queue then you will have to specify the size in F always so if you have array blocking queue array blocking queue you cannot create without any uh, initial capacity but if you are using linked blocking queue then you can specify the initial size or you cannot you, here you can see this is not throwing an error so this is optionally that's what uh, this is differ from array blocking queue array blocking queue is the bounded blocking queue right you will have to specify the initial capacity but if you use linked blocking queue it's optionally bounded and unbounded if you you haven't specified the initial capacity then max capacity would be integer dot max size right so these things you will have to keep in mind now how elements are storing into the linked uh, linked uh, uh, blocking queue linked blocking queue orders elements in the first e uh, first uh, in first out in or you can say uh, fifo order the head of the queue is uh, that element that has been on the queue uh, the longest time the tail of the queue is that element that uh, has been on the queue uh, the longest uh, shortest time right elements which is on the tail of course uh, uh, that is inserted uh, inserted after the elements which is on the head right and that's what i'm telling elements on the uh, basically tails that is the sort that is uh, residing from the shortest time right new elements are inserted at the tail of the queue and the queue retrieval operation obtain elements at the head of the queue now when we talk about talked about the linked blocking queue methods then linked blocking queue also implements iterable collection and queue interfaces apart from the blocking queue interface so this class uh, uh, and its iterator uh, implements all of the optional method of collection and uh, iterator interfaces for the 
same type of functionality like adding an elements or removing an elements uh, linked blocking queue provides different methods which will throw exception block or uh, timeout based on the uh, method used if you look into the array blocking queue then you'll get couple of methods over here a linked blocking queue if you'll get a couple of methods like offer uh, one of the method i know the offer and uh, let me show you so here you have a method is called sorry guys i'm taking a little more time to show you so i think method name is offer here you can see offer method takes uh, uh, what elements you want to add and uh, you can specify the time unit as well i think one of the method is called put or something else yeah uh, not put but uh, let's say add so here there are a couple of methods which basically gives you opportunity to, to specify time unit as well right so my computer is a bit slow so one of the method is called offer we have seen and another method uh, is called uh, poll poll method also gives you opportunity to specify the time in any uh, i mean uh, time in milliseconds second right you can specify here time unit is an innovation that gives you flexibility to specify time in any unit right so this is the method basically specific to basically linked blocking uh, queue right so now let's uh, have a uh, look into all the classes which i have created to make this demo so linked blocking queue here i have taken the same example previous example if you have watched my video tutorial then you must be familiar with this here i have i am making use of i'm making use of the executor framework so i have created a thread pool with size of two and here i am executing a producer thread as well as consumer thread right and sharing the same buffers so this is the shared buffer which we are going to share among the producer as well as consumer here i have created a link blocking queue size of one even you if you do not specify size still this is going to work but in cache of array blocking queue you will have to specify the size so linked blocking queue is optionally bounded or unbounded now here get method which is going to call by the consumer and there we are taking elements from the queue shared queue and removing from the uh, elements from the head of the queue similarly we are adding elements into the queue by calling this put method this will add elements into the tail of the queue right and uh, of course we have a producer whose responsibility is to produce the data so here we have make use the random class and we are generating three digit number and putting into the shared buffer and another side we have a consumer so consumer is basically uh, taking data from the buffer by calling its get method and uh, making pause of one second and give it a chance to the producer to put data into the uh, shared buffer pretty simple now let's run this application and this will work very very synchronous fashion right here here you can see our application is running in the synchronous fashion here uh, basically here you can see producer has produced data consumer has consumed producer is producing and consumer is consuming data here in, in case of buffer class there we have used a linked blocking key here you have opportunity to specify buffer size whatever buffer size you want to specify within the integer range that you can specify here now i have specified the size 5 means producer will start producing data and that will put data into the queue and if queue is full then producer will go into the waiting state and consumer will start consuming the data if there is no data to consume then consumer will go into the waiting state and that will notify the producer to produce data right and similarly producer will start producing data and there is a data to consume that will notify to the consumer so this communication i mean internal communication process basically you can establish using a, a linked blocking queue right so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial guys this code i'm going to check in on the github and github location you may get from the video description if you really like this video that please hit on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel as well so guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial